Hi friends! Previously on the Franklin Adventures, we were in the city of Kanazawa in Ishikawa Prefecture. On the same trip, my friends and I rented a car and we drove to the Noto Peninsula, also part of Ishikawa Prefecture. I wouldn't have even known about the peninsula if it wasn't for Oshare Japan. You should check them out if you don't know them yet. This was the first time in my life I rented a car when I was the one driving. I was nervous at first, but the car we got was really safe and comfortable. Also, driving in Osaka is pretty aggressive, so it strained me well, I guess. It seems to be much more relaxing driving in other prefectures of Japan. Anyway, it took about an hour and a half to get to our first destination on the peninsula. We were so excited to see snow for the first time this winter. We exited the highway when we saw a sign for the beach driveway, aka you can drive your car on the beach, but that was closed, so we stopped for food instead. I'm not sure if there's only one entrance currently open for the beach driveway because there were two separate exits for it on the highway. It's possible we just took the wrong one, um, but that was fine because although the beach driveway would have been really cool, it wasn't actually part of our plan. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> We planned to drive around the entire peninsula, and our first destination was the Totoro Rock. I found it because I just zoomed in on the peninsula on Google Maps, and I clicked on random places and saved the ones that looked interesting. The night before, I showed my friends Tori and Cherry, and we narrowed it down to a few places we all collectively wanted to see. So, good thing we all love Totoro. Next up, we've got the Shiro Yone Senmaida rice terraces. Insanely beautiful rice paddies sprawled out over a coastal area. It was incredible. Senmaida literally means a thousand rice paddies. There's also a light up at night, which looks like it would be really cool. I always hear that the rice in Ishikawa is amazing. Oshare Japan mentioned that in their video about the peninsula, and there's an elderly couple that I teach on Skype every week, and they told me the same thing. I did buy some rice to cook at home, and the husband said it was really nice. We experienced all sorts of weather on the Noto Peninsula. When we started driving, it was bright and sunny, then suddenly the sky turned gray and it started to snow and it looked like a blizzard was approaching, then it was bright and sunny again, then it rained, then it snowed, then the sun came out. It sounds kind of chaotic, but it was all nice in a way to experience different types of weather. We wanted to see the Godzilla rock as well. Yes, you heard that right. Seems that Noto's got all the coolest rocks, but unfortunately we missed the turn. By we, I mean me. Sorry, I've let you all down. I was panicking because the person behind me was tailgating me. Is that reasonable? I don't know. It kind of looks like the Godzilla rock was tiny anyway, but what do I know? There was nowhere to turn around, though, because we were driving on the coast, so we just continued on to the next place, the Rokosaki Lighthouse, right on the tip of the peninsula. Speaking of tips... We barely even scratched the surface of the peninsula. You could say it was just the tip of the iceberg. The tip of the peninsula. Oh my god, I'll stop. If you've got the time, there are a ton of places to explore on the peninsula. I would highly recommend just zooming in on Google Maps and seeing what you find. That applies to any area, actually. That's how I find a lot of the places I visit. But back to the lighthouse. It was very pretty. Just a little dude. You can't go inside, but there are still some really lovely sea views. We kind of missed the boat for lunchtime, so we stopped at a roadside stand for some snacks and kept on driving. For some reason, I was under the impression that we would be able to drive around the entire peninsula in just a couple hours or so. 
and I could not have been more wrong. It takes about six hours to drive around, and if you stop at a few places, you can easily spend an entire day there, or possibly more. Remember there was big news around last May about a small town that used their COVID relief money for a huge squid statue in hopes it would promote tourism to their region? Well, that squid is in Ishikawa, right here on the Noto Peninsula. Noto spent a whopping 25 million yen on the statue. In US dollars, that's around $220,000. Lots of eyes were rolling about how the money could have been spent more wisely if their goal was to promote tourism, but in the end, it seems to have worked. Rumor has it that they've made the money back, and then some, so good for them. There's a restaurant and shop right next to the squid, but unfortunately, it's closed every Wednesday. So guess which day we happen to visit? Wednesday. I'd say it was just my luck, but it easily could have been prevented. At least the squid is always there, though. And by the way, the squid is in a very random place. It's close to the sea, but I was imagining it being on the beach. Stop assuming, Frankie. Please. We decided to head back to Kanazawa after the squid. We parked the car at the Airbnb and walked to the nearest izakaya. They seem to specialize in kushikatsu. Kushikatsu is basically deep fried anything, but it's usually really good. We were all so exhausted, we ate everything pretty quietly and passed out when we got home. The following day, we went to Shirakawago, so please check out that video for some of the most gorgeous winter views in Japan. Thanks so much for following along on this trip. There will be more exciting adventures coming up, and I hope you'll join me then as well. As always, thank you so much and take care. Bye!